Hey guys, it's Kristen from FastPaleo.com and today I have a really quick and easy one dish meal for you. What I'm going to be making is baked chicken thighs. So the ingredients are about three pounds of chicken thighs. I have nice pastured chicken thighs, six large ones here. As you can see, I have some Swiss chard. Any green will do, any really good cooking green. I also have some carrots I'm going to chop up and then I already have my onion chopped up here in the dish. This is about one and a half medium sized onions. So to prep the Swiss chard, which is going to go in next, all you do, take a leaf, grab the greens by the end, pinch, and pull. Easy. And then you just chop it up, or you can rip it up into smallish pieces. And then we're just going to layer it inside our baking dish. Now because this is Swiss chard, a cooking green, it's actually going to cook down a lot. It's going to lose a ton of volume during the cooking process. Next up, we have our carrots. I don't peel my carrots in general, just FYI, I don't notice it. So we're just going to do a nice big, oops. <laughs> so we're just going to do a nice big <laughs> rough chop on these. Roughly equal sizes, and then in the pan they go. Just kind of try to spread them out somewhat evenly. And then last, I have of course my chicken peas. Now these haven't been seasoned yet. I'll do that after I place them in the pan. You want them to be evenly spaced. You want to try to not let them touch each other so that they cook evenly. Skin side up. Yes, you definitely you definitely want to have the skin side up so that the skin gets nice and crispy. And one thing some people will do is they'll drizzle some oil or something over top of the skin before baking. And you can do that if you want to. It'll add some more flavor. But what won't happen is you won't get that nice crispy skin from it if you do that. The oil will prevent the skin from crisping up and getting brown. And I love me some crispy chicken skin for reals. I'm going to do a simple seasoning on this chicken. Get a little bit of seasoning on the vegetables while we're at it. Just a sprinkling of salt, some fresh ground pepper, as much as you like. Oops. I'm also going to do a little bit of thyme here. I really love thyme on chicken. So just a little sprinkling over top. And this is whole dried thyme leaves and I like to crush them up with my fingers a little bit or with a mortar and pestle before putting it on my food because it just becomes so aromatic and I feel like you're releasing more of the flavor by crushing it now as opposed to using the already powdered stuff. Just my preference. And then we're going to get out the Hungarian paprika. Just do a little light dusting. So to finish this off, I'm going to pop it in the oven, preheated at 350 degrees for probably about an hour and 15 minutes, depending on the size of your chicken breast and the thickness of them. They might need a little bit longer, a little bit shorter time to cook. What I do, if you're not sure how long to cook, I pop this in 350 for an hour, check it. Um, you'll know if it's done really by how crispy the skin is. If the skin feels like it's pulled far away from the, from the meat, and it's really crispy to the touch, then your chicken's done. So in it goes. Okay, so I just pulled the chicken out of the oven. I think it's ready. If you look down here, you can see that we still have a little bit of bubbling going on. We have all this liquid down in the bottom now. That's a combination of juices from the chicken meat and also rendered chicken fat from the skin. Now I can tell it's done because when I push down, I feel lots of crispy skin, but there's some space between the skin and the meat. It's separated a little bit and the meat doesn't really give a whole lot. Nice and crispy. So I hope you guys found this useful and thanks for watching.